It is lunchtime at Hadwanag Hotel and Restaurant in Hargeisa, and business is booming. Managing Director Hassan Ahmad Hussein makes sure that things are running smoothly. Hussein lived in the United States for almost 20 years, working mostly as an accountant. He returned to his homeland in 2001. It took me three months to clean the place. Uh, we even uh, found a human skeleton. Mm -hmm. Yes, sitting over there because of from the Civil War, and uh, there were times that I was, I was really having a doubt if I can accomplish this. On the other side of town, Farhan Ali Ahmad is building a media empire. His cable company, Horned Cable TV, is just about to go global. Ahmed was once a stock market trader and owned several businesses in the United States before returning to Hargeisa in 1999. It's a virgin country. In America, in America, everything you do, you become a franchisee. Ahmed and Hussein are part of a growing number of professionals who receive their education and career development primarily in the United States, Canada and Britain. And they are returning to Somaliland to set up a wide range of businesses. Ali Ibrahim is Somaliland's Minister of National Planning and Coordination. And we are now working with the diaspora Somalilanders to really come to the country and help technically, because there is a hell of a knowledge gap in the country. Ibrahim says investment opportunities abound, particularly in the areas of real estate, telecommunications, transport, trading, the hospitality industry, and, just on the horizon, gemstones and oil. Indications are that uh, this country has got a lot of mining, potentialities and even petroleum and this is being further explored and if those are discovered the whole life of the Somalilanders will change very soon. Ibrahim says that direct investment by returning Somalilanders amounts to millions of dollars per year. But the big income earner is remittances, as much as 450 million dollars a year that Somaliland professionals in the diaspora send to their relatives and friends. Ibrahim says remittances plus direct investments make up approximately half of Somaliland's economy. Somalilanders who have come back to the area are trying to help the wider community as well as set up business ventures. Media boss Ahmed says he plans to air programs that promote good governance, democracy, ethnic and clan tolerance and a greater understanding of Islam. I want to teach people that uh, either bombing or blowing up or killing in the name of God. It's not the right way. Restaurant owner Hussein says his big priority is to urge youth to use their time wisely and not to chew cut, a mildly narcotic plant. The youth, when they are un unemployed, underemployed, I mean, they are very volatile. And if they don't get the proper guidance, they can contribute to a lot of unwanted things and and stabilize the country. Many of the returning professionals say they want to influence Somaliland society and integrate the values and concepts they encountered in their second country. Kathy Maitney for VOA News, Hargeisa.